This season of Merely Role Players contains bloody violence, especially in these later acts. Welcome back to Merely Role Players, where theatrical people play role playing games. Act 4 of Codename Mosaic will begin shortly, so please do spread out into the seats vacated by people who mistimed the last train home. Did you know September is International Podcast Month? This is a new thing set up by Tess from RPG Casts the podcast directory and community for people making podcasts kinda like this one. 24 different role-playing game podcasts will be releasing one-shot episodes throughout September, and 13 different audio drama podcasts will be releasing mini-episodes. So if you want to test drive some new programs, this is your chance. RPG Casts and International Podcast Month are both committed to making and maintaining an inclusive and welcoming space for all types of people, so it should be a month of lots of new material and no unwelcome turn-offs. Everything's happening at internationalpodcastmonth.com and at podmonth on Twitter. Also in September, I'll be at Tabletop Gaming Live at Alexandra Palace in London on Saturday the 29th, possibly with some others that you've heard on Merely Role Players. I'll be dawdling around trying out games and probably buying more rule books and dice than I could ever possibly need, so anyone else who's planning on going, please distract me by asking what's up with Errol or anything else that's on your mind. I'll be tweeting pictures of my swag at merely MJ. But first, get your coats and bags settled on those extra seats. The company will return for Codename Mosaic Act 4 after this from our friends in the RPG Casts community. Cities are hard. They're tangled webs of shadows with someone different waiting to stab you in the back on every corner. Baldur's Gate ain't no different. If anything, it's worse. There's murder in the air and a name on everyone's tongue that no one dares to speak. The scales of justice are new in town, hot in the tail of an evil cult, but they're going to make him talk. Tales from the Dark Dragon's Inn is a serialized fiction podcast. Join us for season two on tftddi.co.uk. The story so far. You are Blackshaw, a glamorous international touring theatre company who are also sleeper agents for the service. We believe that there is a program in place run by this individual who we have codenamed Mosaic that turns agents. Your mission is to discover who Mosaic is, stop them, and discover whether there are any other agents already placed in our or any other intelligence service waiting to be activated. We need a foolproof way we could all check that we have not been turned. A Russian, codenamed Flycatcher, an enforcer type. She is stationed on Neptune Island. Oh, That's an island. That's an island. That's an island. Build as a resort. I think there probably is some kind of like big warehousing mm-hmm. facility which is separate to what would be like the fancy hotel. Yeah, you okay. slip through. Do you have Badges. Yeah, do you have a have a little chit chat with any of the guards? No, no, no. We no, just no. give them a little just give them a little nod. Just all business here. That yeah. you're invisible to them. Rene Lacroix, codenamed Ocarina. We believe that he was developing the process. May I may I show you the uh, the facility? I would love to see the facilities. Life's a game, the world's a stage, and we're all merely players. was going to go uh, and see if he could find the like any kidnapped agents or equipment, right? Yep. Whereas uh, Anvil was going to go and find the command centre and see if she could sabotage that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I can see that there is a kind of, like, there's a kind of mezzanine level in the kind of main part of the warehouse with a walkway that kind of goes all the way around the outside. And that looks to me like the likely kind of hub kind of command centre. Okay. Hang on, Are you, you're imagining that we're in the warehouse yeah. and the guard tower is like, uh, you know those rooms that kind of yes. like hang from yeah, the ceiling? Yeah, that's what I mean, yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's like, yeah, like a, like a, like a mezzanine that's just yeah. like the perimeter of the top of the warehouse. So they have a really good view. Cool. I was imagining there. the guard tower is a separate building, but that is good too. I think yeah. it's nice to have you both in the same yeah. complex. So, uh, yeah, yeah so I'm you kind can, of... You can see access. Yeah, and instead of, so there's stairs down mm-hmm. into the base of the warehouse, but we're already up on this walkway because that's where we've entered. Yeah, so it's half so, sunken. Yeah, so I'm like trotting, trotting round to towards the guard tower ostensibly to do some cleaning. <laughs> so I'm not worried about not being seen. I'm just like mooching along with my janitorial cart and I'm going to knock on the door to see if they'll let me in to like empty the bins. 
the door opens. Yeah. And there is a, a guard in uniform with uh, with weapon uh, yeah. there, and you can see past him to some uh, like technicians at surveillance stuff. The the guard says, "What do you want?" Oh, I'm just here to clear out the bins. Is it time? Uh, why don't you roll uh, suave? Mm-hmm. I think this is, this is talking your way in somewhere. So. Is this a short notice cover story? Not yeah, really. yeah. I think it actually is. Yeah. Do I get anything for that though? No. Uh, so. No, but what did we say? Short notice cover story was move wise. It was suave. Yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah. So you get yeah. A plus. Do you get a plus? You don't one? get a plus anything. No, because I have nothing for suave. Eight. So all you want is for him to like let you in so that you can start taking stuff out. Yeah, <laughs> or at least actually what I wanted was to get in to be able to assess how many people there were mm-hmm. and then I have a plan to get myself back in um, once I know whether I can... Because just going in and right. trying to neutralise each person if there's too many of them <laughs> is not going to work for me. Okay. I think maybe the catch is that what you find out is that there is a lot of people in here right. more than you can probably okay. take out yeah. just by like going in and going wild yeah so I'm going to alter my plan Okay. Um, so I'm going to get the bin mm-hmm. I'm going to leave my gadget Ooh. which is a time delay smoke grenade <laughs> very nice so, awesome. so what I'm going to do is I, I just clean out the bin and I get to I can trot outside to like tie up the bag and put it in my cart and as I'm putting a fresh bag in, mm-hmm. I just pop my time delay smoke grenade just under the under where the bag is. So an em- it looks like an empty bin is being popped back in. And then after I leave the room, after about 10 seconds, um, smoke's just going to start filling the control room. And then what? Do we cut to strat or do you want... Yeah, cut to strat yeah. and then we'll come okay. back. Okay. Uh, so you split up at the entrance. Yep. Yeah. So what you see yeah. uh, sort of on the... Down uh, at the like the floor level, mm-hmm. which is kind of a, stair- a stairway down, mm-hmm. um, basically the warehouse is kind of stacked up with shipping container type um, oh, okay. units in kind of stacks of four, like, uh, which uh, stretch up to the ceiling. Mm-hmm. They're like on a grid around the around the floor of the warehouse, and mm-hmm. you can see guards patrolling around them. One stack of them is toward like the the uh, doors are towards you, mm-hmm. and you can just sort of in the gap between the doors see like some flickering of light. So I um, would like to ditch my janitor's trolley thing, mm-hmm. uh, take out of it whatever sort of like satchel bag my equipment is in presumably in some sort of secluded corner yes yeah. Yeah. yes out of sight absolutely and i would like to start sneaking around and placing magnetic explosives <gasps> yeah oh. so, yeah, yeah those sorts of things on to kind of strategic what did you say like, there? like uh, the, uh, the shipping, the, shipping yeah, stra- on strategic shipping containers so i don't have to place like one for every single one, sure. but I'll do it enough so that I'll take them out and then they will fall in yeah. on one another. Roll yeah. supple. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, yeah. twelve. Yeah. Beautiful. You you get them placed wherever you want them, and you are completely unseen. It's not even like you need to rely on the janitor's uniform as cover. You just avoid all the patrols. And for sit rep, sit rep. <laughs> uh, just dealing with all the security guards in the guard tower. <laughs> Good to proceed as planned. Yep, all clear. Cool. So uh, I'm imagining myself literally mid-fight while I'm having this conversation with yeah. you. So okay, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> so as the smoke grenade goes off, I think the likely reaction is that some people immediately try to leave the room, whereas like if they're in different positions, you know, it's going to take longer for something to come out. Yeah, people like doors open yeah. at various levels of yeah. the guard complex. Yeah. And I've got my uh, janitor's cart kind of just like wedged in an inappropriate place just in front of the door where they're then like bashing the door up against it. So it's like impeding their exit. And basically there's, they're coming out. I'm just kind of taking them out. You've got a bottleneck. Yeah. Just okay. taking them out one by one. <laughs> and obviously they're coming out kind of like coughing and wheezing and their eyes are streaming. So it's not a particularly difficult task, but I'm assuming I'm going to have yeah, to. Yeah. Roll, roll blunt. You get plus one for your hand to hand combat speciality. Yeah. And also plus one because you've set up the situation to your advantage. Yeah. Okay. So, so you're going to be plus, plus four, four total. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Didn't even need it. <laughs> 
Rolling yeah. like a champ. That's a 10 That's plus 14. 4 is 14. Take, take us through this. And if you need to, like, cut to Strat's reaction on the comms just as he like, hears all of the <laughs> Yeah. So I think I'm, like, taking the first guy out just, like, um, the first couple, I think I'm even kind of pretending I'm helping. But I get the first guy and I just kind really, of, like, d- blow there. And then I kind of, like, smash my like, heel of my hand to the side of his head. And he falls over the car and is knocked out. Then the next person is kind of like, oh, no, what happened to him? And is therefore, you know, I kind of get them as well and there's just kind of like an increasing pile of bodies and by the time I get to number four I have the message from um, top uh, tank top saying uh, you know am I okay to proceed and I'm like yeah everything's going exactly as planned as I like do an uppercut to one guy's face and just a roundhouse kick to a guy on my left who managed to get out of the door and just incapacitate a massive pile of guards um, in a big in a big pile until there's like 12 or 13 of them you, you now have an empty smoky guard yeah. complex a pile of guards and a bunch of guns. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to mostly leave the guards kind of outside because I'm basically using them as like a human barrier into the <laughs> guard tower so I can just shut the door. Like I just climb over them and just shut the door behind myself. Most of the smoke has kind of dissipated through the air conditioning. Um, but it's a little, like a little hazy still. Um, and I kind of sit down. So I don't think it's possible to have done this without like the guards on the ground noticing. So you, you are kind of on a time limit Mm -hmm. now of, uh, guards on the lower level are coming up. So what I wanted to have done once I have sneaked and done all my stuff, I want to find a high vantage point that I can squirrel myself away in and take out of my bag, my silent sniper rifle. (laughs) Yes. So I'm going to be up with a full view of the warehouse as... Uh, Just picking them off. As they they start noticing that uh, something's going down in the guard tower, they see the smoke, they they hear they hear the Wilhelm scream as somebody goes, <laughs> goes over the gantry and... Inevitably <laughs> falls to their death. ...onto the warehouse floor. Uh, they st- all start moving for the staircases up to the uh, up to the guard tower. What do you do? Uh, I am just hidden in the shadows of the rafters of this building, uh, the ones at the like at the back of the group, I'm just going to start taking them out one by one from the back. So that if, by the time it gets to the last one, if, if that person was to turn around, he would just see all their friends... Just dead. Just dead. I feel like you're making quite a strong argument for this to be subtle yes. rather than blunt, so roll subtle. 9, 10, 11. We are rolling like yeah. champions is this, today. Is this sneaky and silent as well? I don't uh, know. Yeah, why not? So that's... Uh, <laughs> everything. Teamwork makes the so dream work. So I'm going to do all of them, and then the last one will turn around and see all his yeah. friends, and Vicky, you can just sidle up behind him with his back turned, and then... Uh, I just uh, like do a roundhouse kick to the back of his head, <laughs> and he falls down the stairs. <laughs> okay, what do you want to do in this uh, security complex? Um, so I think now we... I, I think w- what I did before I left the security... Uh, tower is just locked down the building. There's okay. probably some kind of button that you mm-hmm. can hit that just like brings it's a big red button. Yeah, usually yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. So, so you did, you did the... go into the security yeah. place, right? So you saw screens in there. Yeah. Some of which were CCTV of the of the warehouse in general. Yeah. Some of which were CCTV of the resort. Yeah. The port, the airstrip, yeah. all sorts. And not the lab, I hope. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, the lab, the lab too. <laughs> oh, don't you worry. <laughs> is that our cut? Is it just it, like you walk out of the room and it just seems in a water? Yeah, yeah, and then it becomes real life, yes. Uh, that, let's make that our cut, but the same thing first is that you also see a uh, a grid of like 16 or 24 screens, which all seem to be feeds from inside the uh, shipping containers. Right. And inside each, you see a person strapped to a chair uh, with some sort of assembly on their head, oh, no. like on a drip of some description, with like flashing images playing in their faces. We have got to get those guys out of there. So anyway, I've locked it down and attempted not to set off any alarms in doing so. But so... Uh, yeah, roll subtle to lock it down. <laughs> big roll needed. She hits the wrong button. I mean, normally <laughs> things involving hitting a big red button aren't subtle. No, no, they're not. <laughs> Nope. Oh, fail. oh boy. This but, is no exception. Uh, this is beautiful because what happens is oh, you're no. you're you're looking for the button to uh, lock the whole complex down. Uh, you're distracted by this grid of screens and you realise that the all, all these agents are like, yeah. trapped in the shipping containers, and you see uh, reflected in the screen uh, behind you 
a figure Ooh. in full tactical and a gas mask. Oh, shit. Who looms up behind you and we cut away yeah. through the screen to the lab. Quite the tour. <laughs> uh, it's much nicer in here. It doesn't look anything like the setup in those shipping containers. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to upgrade to platinum. Yeah. I don't want a shipping container. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's like it's not all like white and clinical and medical. It's all very like pastely. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, there are lots of nice couches. So it's still quite spary. It's still quite sp- like they've mm. kept the spa experience going. Sure. Ocarina La Croix is uh, is talking you through things uh, yeah. as he. As he as he guides you round, uh, yes, this is, this is the room where uh, where we prepare uh, the the patients, the the guests for their treatments. Uh, everyone must be very relaxed before uh, before we we begin uh, the the treatment. And uh, then, if you follow me, the next uh, he is just talking yeah. through everything as yeah. you as you walk around. And I'm saying things like, "It is beautifully decorated, <laughs> very well thought out." Oh, I, I I cannot take credit for the decor. Well, I mean, that's not your area of expertise, is it? No, no. I, I, my my area of expertise is, is beautiful minds, not beautiful furniture. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you were going to tell me exactly how the treatment works. I think I want to know the exact method that's used, because I think that's going to be useful info. And then I'm also later hoping to find out more about, like, how he got recruited and how that all worked. But I think this is my first question. So. Ooh, ten. Yes, 10. And I've got my three as well, so 13. Uh, yes, it is a, it is a combination of, uh, of uh, 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 visual stimuli. Uh, is it, the uh, light going through the eye goes straight to the brain. This is how we, uh, we, we uh, in, in, include suge- suggestion. And uh, th- we have a, a cocktail of, uh, of chemicals that, uh, that make the, the person more relaxed to the messages. He even, like, I think you can get, like, a copy of, like, his his thesis or something. Oh, yeah, him sure. With that. Just, like, <laughs> spewing it all out, yeah. Yeah, like, he's like, I-, I-, I can send you, I can send you all the details uh, if you are, if you're so, it's so good to have a, 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 a a sympathetic ear who is interested and you, you really seem uh, intelligent enough to take it all in. Uh, uh, it's nice to have somebody on my level. Thank you, Dr. Lacroix. <laughs> that's, that's delightful. Uh, and as he's been talking, I've been like saying how clever he is and <laughs> touching yeah. his arm and <laughs> so good. laughing yeah, and think, just all the flirting. Of course. And, and I think as part of that, he, he's, he's also like, and uh, of course he's... he's uh, Ear is where we do the, the more pleasant uh, types of the treatments. Uh, so what other types of treatment are there? Are there some less pleasant um, sides to, to the science that you, you've been applying? Because I imagine there are just all sorts of possibilities for the way that this ingenious method could be applied. Yes. Uh, I, only look, I only seek to, to improve people's lives, you see. Mm. Uh, but yes, you you are right. There are others who see other other applications for my for my work. It is I do not I do not like to be responsible for these things. It it brings me much guilt. You look very sad, Doctor Lacroix. I'm sorry. I do not mean to bring the mood down. Uh, you are a guest. Uh, I should be entertaining you. Oh no, you're 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 very very interesting to listen to, and you have lovely hair. <laughs> <laughs> Stroke. <laughs> Maureen talks about it all the time. Uh, you're not like those other women out there. Well, no, I'm about 30 years younger <laughs> for a start. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it would be, it must be very difficult to ensure that your work doesn't fall into the wrong hands. As you say, people wanting to apply it in not nice scenarios. How, I mean, how, would, how do you stop that from happening? Uh, roll. I'm gonna roll because I'm hoping he's gonna open up to me. Mm-hmm. You're doing so well. So I'm plus, plus three. Ooh. Oh shit, sticks. So that's seven. So you you you're gonna get what you want, but there's there's gonna be a catch. Okay. Uh, which I think is probably that as soon as he's let's let this slip, yeah, the whole place is gonna go on lockdown. Okay. Because of what's happening elsewhere. Right. I've 
I've not been able to, if I'm honest. Please, you are, you have means. You are, you are wealthy. Yes, you have resources. Yes. Can you, why? Can you can you get me out? She is she is mad. What she does with my work, it Who? is it is insane. Who and what have they done? Who are you talking about? Caulfield, Doctor Caulfield. Doctor Caulfield. I, I, I have to, I have to get out. Can you help me? Can you help me, please? Yes, I can. I can absolutely help you. And that's when all the alarms go off. Can oh. <laughs> <laughs> I kiss him first? Yes. <laughs> yes. Like as the alarms go off. <laughs> like before I go off. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be weird timing otherwise. Like as a distraction. There's not alarms going off. It's all just in your head. <laughs> yeah, they'll definitely stop any second now. Yeah. yeah. Through, throughout that conversation, as he's getting more desperate, we're getting closer and closer. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, yes. yeah, I can help you. Yeah. So you, we have a. Smack her in. I can save you, Renee. We have a beautiful tableau of the two of you in a cinch, in a like in red, flashing red light. <laughs> I can see the the doors that you went through. Mm-hmm. Okay, how, there's, there's one the... armed guard, and you need like a, a platinum pass yep. to open the door. Just get more. Anybody in, in this in this uh, alarm situation? <laughs> the, can I see all... anyone with a little mauve pin? That I everywhere. think I could lift a uh, yeah, platinum and pass off. There are loads of people with mauve, <laughs> mauve lapel pins, and they're all in a flap, yeah. moving for the exits so as the alarm I'd like goes to off. Just go for it. Yeah, roll subtle. That is not subtle enough. No. Uh, that is oh, a boy. five. That is not great. Oh, not a subtle man. <laughs> is that a five? Mm, yeah. Total. I think you have another way in, though. The, uh, the the person that you're trying to nick the pin off uh, <clears throat> notices what you're trying to do, grabs your hand, and they're not like, they're not a fighter, but it is like a, a larger gentleman, and uh, there is a, tu- a brief tussle, and you both kind of go down and uh, are, like, to some extent trampled by people uh, running for the exits. Um, and when the crowd disperses, the guard who was on that door is standing over you with a pistol drawn. It's drawn, I'm on the ground. Yeah. You're on the ground. The other guy's not on me or anything. Uh, no, I think you've probably, like, rolled off each other. And the guard says, I saw that. Is this you? Are you behind this? Is this behind part of what? a plan? <laughs> The alar- the, it's alarms everywhere. Like, how, how can I have been, have you, I've been like here the whole time. I just saw you trying to take that man's pin. Why do? What are you after? Yeah, my, my friend's in there. I'm worried about it. Roll suave. That, exactly, that, that is thinking. actually persuasive. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's more like it's. Uh, oh, yeah, nice. It's he, uh, the gun moves off you. He doesn't holster it, but it's not pointing directly at you anymore. I'm sure she'll be fine. There are there are fire exits in there. They'll they'll be able to get out. There's no need for there's no need for desperate moves. So, what do you think's going on here? I mean, what, what's setting off the alarms? Uh, it's not for us to question, sir. We just all need to get out. Can you come with me, please? I'll come with you. And the uh, the the other guy is uh, is very indignant as the as you and he and the guard uh, walk off, following the rest of the crowd. Uh, he's like, oh, wh- you shouldn't be so lenient with this man. He tried to steal my platinum pin. I paid a million pounds for that. Jog on, you posh twat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe we're just starting a fight at this point. <laughs> yeah, the guard seems to like not have any patience for that. In the warehouse, what happened was... <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, you just caught the glimpse of yeah. this figure uh, behind you uh, before your head was slammed into the monitors. Oh, man. Who Classic henchman battle. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited for an odd job style fight right now. Uh, so your head slams into the monitors. Your vision goes goes yeah. woozy. Uh, you're now wounded. Oh, yeah. Uh, and with, the, with its other hand, uh, the figure slams down on an alarm button, and that's why all the alarms yeah. are going off. Um, Have I managed to lock down the like? I'm, did I no, manage to no? Because you were rolling to do yeah, that. Yeah, and you yeah, failed. yeah. Uh, so it's still it's still open. Yeah. So I'm probably still on my mission to try and lock down the mm-hmm. warehouse. But I've got to deal with this guy first. Uh, so uh, what do you do? Fight him. <laughs> uh, I've got my weapon out. I think, mm-hmm. um, but I'm going to use my combat skills to try to neutralize him. 
I'm just going to try and kill him, essentially. All right. My ideal is push him out the window. <laughs> Throw him out the window. I like it. That's what I'm shooting for, All just because right. it would be cool. <laughs> okay, roll blunt, yeah, and no. you get hand-to-hand combat bonus. So you're plus three total. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, it's mixed, at least. Yeah, it's five eight. plus three is eight. All right. It's going to be you, a hard fight. <laughs> yeah. You you can narrate how this shakes out exactly, but the outcome in game terms is you wound each other. Yes. So Could you, I you are wounded help? as part of this. Because if it's eight, I can take this up to full success. Sure. If you roll, yeah, Ooh, if you roll well enough, yeah. 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 Roll loyalty. You got so I've got one with one, it. One, yeah. yeah that's uh, I see a one on one of those die. No, that's a four. That's a good two on the other. Yeah. Oh, Lord. <laughs> that's a four. Okay. Does that count as a failure for me? Or... It does. It does, yes. yeah. Nice. yeah four, four, God, you're four doing very well failure. on failures. I am. So there's been no help. Okay. I will get to the consequences of that failure in a second. I think the way I was going to help <laughs> yeah. may help with that. So... <laughs> Were you going to try and snipe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I think I'm dying in the mission. <laughs> The plan was to shoot at the glass, so as you tried to throw it, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. weakened. Because you would know exactly what I was going to try yeah. and do. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to circle wounded, yeah. because that's how this fight's so going to Oh man, you're double wounded. Yeah, so I think that the wound you take is actually from Strat. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So you are, Friendly you, fire. You're focused on defence against this person, yeah. and you're not expecting the shot from behind. Yeah. And uh, you, you move. Shoulder wound or something. Yeah, you yeah. move in a, in a way Strat's not expecting and get into his crosshairs. But you also manage to wound this person yeah. how do you how do you manage to land a solid blow on this person so i think that it's like i think it would in uh, the cinematic universe be <laughs> quite an intense long protracted um fight where we would both ultimately use our weapons and it would turn into a fist fight where we're using any kind of objects that are in the guard tower so yeah it's like a really tough like fist fight i'm using all of the moves that i know including the classic like grab him in a headlock with my thighs and like grab a chair and try and like smash him with the chair and yeah so i think the smash with the chair is how you deal the yeah. damage in this particular case yeah. Uh, so, and I managed definitely managed to like remove his weapon, but he also like I lose my weapon at the same time, and then I do that thing where I reach for the gun, but it's just too yeah. far away. <laughs> I think when you smash the person with the chair, uh, the gas mask comes off, yeah. and it is revealed that this is Flycatcher. Oh <gasps> yes, she and I are like relative, clearly relatively yeah. evenly matched. Yeah. Okay. You so see that's... her face, and you see a flashback to me just going, "She hit me right here." <laughs> 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 That's it. I'm like, oh, God damn. Oh, yeah, when that happens, can you then punch her exactly where he said yeah, she Yeah, and I'll be like, that yeah. one's for Fox Club. <laughs> Kind of like that in that we're we're intercutting between yeah. that and whatever Ellie <laughs> oh, is doing. Oh, we've got hot and heavy. The, yeah. the alarm went off, and he just said, "Don't worry, that happens all the time." <laughs> we carry on. <laughs> I love it. This is alarm is not for us. <laughs> into it. Yeah. <laughs> Strat. Hello. As you are recoiling in horror at the fact that you've shot your, uh, your fellow agent. But you still see me like flying across the window. <laughs> She's still moving. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Um, somebody else is up on the gantry with you. They, they approached uh, while you were focusing down the scope. Yeah. An individual uh, with uh, long hair down over one side of her face, mm-hmm. wearing a sharp suit. The blazer button is open, and you can see it's got a very like flashy watered silk lining in there. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm, very well dressed, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, is uh, holding a pistol, pointing it at you. I don't remember hiring you. I'm just going to very slowly take my hands off the gun. Independent contractor. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Yeah, I love it. I like those. Come with me. <laughs> Okay. And uh, she stands behind you with the gun at your back and marches you along the catwalk uh, to one of the like gantries approaching one of the shipping containers. Okay, don't she? I'll pick you up. Yeah, try to not activate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I 
an opportune moment, I would like to uh, deploy my exit strategy, which just drops the power to the building. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and just slip off. Nice. Uh, Very good. Go for it. Deploy that and thing so hard. Come on. Oh my seven, seven. eight. You you deploy your exit strategy just as the guard who was escorting you puts a hand to his puts a finger to his commune in his ear and turns and looks at you and puts the gun up to you again and says, You have to come with me and then the lights go out <laughs> and oh. you and you escape. Okay, so I just like to duck out and I want to head over to the warehouse bit. I think there's not a lot I can do. Yeah. It sounds like you're now. a wanted man now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, I'm going to get away from here. <laughs> um, something I would like to do is... As the lights completely go out <laughs> <Yeah>. now. <laughs> well, it's it's sort of maybe something that I've... like. Basically, I want to be able to send a message mm-hmm. to these guys with the info that I found out. Yes. So... Does it include some way to deactivate the treatment or like reverse the treatment? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, yeah, I've I got the full so. intel on how the because I might works. Be, we might yeah. do that. Yeah. yeah, you charmed him good. I think yeah. he's give maybe not a. Oh well, I mean, I could just have a conversation with him. Uh, yeah, and, and just openly do that because yeah. I said I'll help him. Yeah, so yeah. he's amenable now to whatever I need from him. Right? Yeah, you are. In the dark. You've turned that asset. <laughs> Boy, howdy, and yeah. one asset. And you turned it hard. Oh my God, this is so gross now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, that was, that was oh, weird. Oh, man. Um, oh, Lord. So, I'm talking to yeah. Renee. Yeah. We're on first name terms now. Okay, so, I can get you out of here, but I need to know what is the way to reverse the treatment. Uh, there is... Uh... There is a, a, a combination of, uh, a, there is a drug cocktail, which uh, if administered correctly will, uh, will suppress. The, 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 the instincts cannot be removed once, once implanted, mm-hmm. but, uh, but it can be suppressed with uh, regular, uh, regular injections, or I'm working on uh, making it a pill form. Great. She's so enterprising. Uh, <laughs> I, I had to hide this this research. Uh, oh, yeah, I bet. Uh, Do- Dr. Caulfield would not want this to be on no. Um Where do you keep the stash of drugs? Uh, I, I have the I have a pro- the prototype uh, of the of the injectables uh, 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 in the warehouse. Okay. Do you know whereabouts in the warehouse? Uh, yes, I have a I have a lab. I have a work area in the complex. Okay. So I'm going to relay all of that information to you all on comms so we all now have all of the infos yeah. and we've joined the dots and know who Dr. Caulfield is. Make sure everyone knows that I am compromised. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm not in peril directly. Yeah. But, and but Strat's like, mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, no, I get, <laughs> I get, I get one response. <laughs> like, I, I suggest that maybe you should um, look for some kind of disguise. Well, no, I mean, I think it's, I think it's getting shooty now, isn't it? It's like, yeah. <laughs> Just get yourself down to the warehouse. Wear a hat. I don't think that's going to do it. We have a denouement, Gary. <laughs> Vicky, Agent Anvil. You have a bullet wound in the shoulder, inhibiting your movements. Uh, you have the, you're still slightly dizzy from the being smashed into the monitors. Uh, but uh, the flycatcher uh, is also now winded yeah. uh, from slips. being slammed with a chair. Yes. Uh, she gets to her feet, and you circle each other. If I'm, I think I'm, if I'm close enough to the door out, I'm going to like dash for the door and grab my janitorial mop <laughs> and just l- hike it out of... Like, basically, yeah, like, smash the top of the mop with my hand and, like, kind of pull it out mm-hmm. of the of the cart. You and... have, don't you have spy supplies in the cart? Yeah. Yeah, I do, but they're, like, down at the bottom, <laughs> okay. like, in a bin bag. I don't have time to push it. <laughs> and basically just, like, um, like smash it over my knee so I have yes. two sharp ends of, like, mop hand. Like, I'm hoping it's a wooden mop because they're, yeah. like, eco-friendly. <laughs> There's no uh, single-use plastics. Then you're also good if uh, they turn to be a vampire so yeah that's handy good. right yeah. yeah um so i've got these two kind of well one's got a mop on the end but one's just a sharp ended stick yeah so this is still hand to hand yeah 
Uh, so you still get the bonus for that, uh, but I think now that you have two pointy mop ends, yeah. you're getting extra for that. Okay, well, no. pointed, pointed stick. stick. Pointed stick. So nice she, job, she stick. comes barreling towards the door yeah. after you. She seems to just be going for absolute brute force. Yeah. Like she just wants to pummel you into yeah. submission. Uh, roll blunt. And you get a plus four, I believe. Blunt two, hand to hand one. Mop one. That's 11. Um, I think that because um, Strats managed to shoot the window and it is now weak, mm -hmm. I basically um, do a kind of jabbing motion with one end of the mop that's sharp right into the side of her face. No! Oh. Um, which obviously is like... That it's kind of like I think it's probably stuck in the side of her face. Oh. So it's stuck in the side of her face, and with the other end, I just kind of shove it up under her chin Ooh. to oh, knock her head back. Boy. And then I do a kind of leaping like roundhouse kick, um, where I or one, one where I use like both feet because obviously my shoulder is a bit of a state right now, so mm. I'm really only one handed. Where I use both feet to just like shove her as hard as I can, and she falls backwards across the controls and basically like halfway through the open window. She can go all the way out the window with this roll. Okay, you? she's going all the way out of the window. She goes all the way out the window and plummets and you just hear a crunch as she hits the uh, floor of the warehouse. Smash the scrunchie. Mm. <laughs> yeah, badass. Does she see anyone in trouble as yeah. she looks out the window? <laughs> but, the, but the first thing I'm going For to... <laughs> I think the thing that I'm going to do is then have like... I probably have seen that Strat is being marched along the gantry because I can probably see it out of the window. Mm -hmm. But what I'm also doing is having a quick look at the controls to see if there's a way for me to release all of the cargo container doors. Awesome. And I'm assuming there is some kind of... Again, let's say it's a big red button <laughs> that says like quick release on it or something, um, which I can hit to just spring all the all the doors open at once. All right, roll smart. Oh, I'm so glad I bumped that up to it. Right. <laughs> Come on! Oh man, six! What is happening? You are really bad at pressing buttons. <laughs> really good at fighting. Terrible at pressing buttons. Just like, oh no! Oh man! It's so clumsy. It's so you, freaking is clumsy. Is that a failure then? Oh yes, yeah, it is. It is. Right, I'm yeah, so the you find the control, but as you're about to hit it, the whole console locks oh. and everything goes red. And a whirling amber light starts whirling in one Ooh. corner of the room. Uh, and you can see through the smashed window that the roof of the warehouse is starting to split oh. and open. Yes. Uh, and Strat, mm -hmm. as you are marched along the gantry to the doors into one of these uh, empty, uh, except for the equipment, uh, mm -hmm. shipping containers, mm -hmm. uh, the voice behind you says... It's not ideal to, to do the treatment in transit, but uh, I think it's enough time. I feel like we have to move the timetable along. Uh, take a seat, please. The door of the shipping container is, is uh, opens mm -hmm. uh, as you approach, and there is a uh, there is a like a chair apparatus in there mm -hmm. with a, a drip attached mm -hmm. with uh, some form of weird headgear mm -hmm. uh, to be attached, and there is a screen at the far end of the shipping container that is already starting to like flash with weird subliminal combinations of images hello oh right well yeah in, in a <laughs> I, i'm gonna see if i can not have that happen before i do it everybody is making the spiderman <laughs> <laughs> let's see if i can unspiderman myself first of all and is this a ground level container no this is like the third up in the stack so what I can i see up through the roof uh nothing for the moment I just night sky. So me outside, I can't hear the helicopters or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, I think outside so, you can hear uh, yeah. like a fleet of seven or eight helicopters mm -hmm. coming, approaching okay. from the mainland. I keep running to the warehouse. Uh, oh, she's behind me, right? Yep. So With the gun in the small of your back. Cool. Uh, so I am going to walk forward to the chair, turn around. So I am facing her as I about to sit in the chair. Mm -hmm. uh, and as I turn around, she, I go to see if my hand is just on my watch. And I'm just going to wing at her and press the button. And all the explosives go, a boom! <laughs> Roll. You're blowing yourself up. No, I've set it up in, a, I had a look. I was like, all of those are used except that one. If I'm going to end up somewhere, it's going to be in that one. I'll set this up so the explosion will make everything fall down. And then I can escape. Assuming I'm in that container, sure. And, and if, I, I need to, agents that aren't if you roll well, then that was the one that she's putting you in. Yeah. But if not, well, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> out. 
So, so what were we rolling for? Subtle. This move? Thankfully. Yeah. Cool. Uh, does this curse, you know, it's not kind of being sneaky, so I just get the plus two. Just possibly. plus two. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The, you correctly scoped out which container you would be put in, or you or any of your colleagues would be put in if it came to that. Mm-hmm. You've set up your explosives to not kill everybody in this container. Yep. What, do, what happens? What, what does Vicky see through the window of the security office? First of all, there would just be a sort of like slight like flash in one corner and a little bit of a rumble of a stack and a flash in another corner and a rumble of that stack and that one slowly starts to go which is the one that I am in and as it starts to move forward I'm going to just run past her and leap just as the other stack starts to go and I will be on that one and as that hits the third one I'm running my way down the stack as they they go back and and, uh, yeah not looking behind me Smart. <laughs> Just run away from the scary hair lady. <laughs> That's the plan. Okay, and uh, so like the um, b- the floor of the warehouse up to like the height of the first shipping container is just a carpet of flame at this point from all of your explosives. Oh shit! Okay, loud explosions, <laughs> yeah. smoke pouring up the top of the warehouse. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like noisy English <laughs> bastards. <laughs> <laughs> so why do we have to set everything on fire? <laughs> the sneaky bits, I stop sneaking. Yeah, you stop okay. sneaking. So that, that roll was for, for making sure that you didn't blow yourself up with this gambit, but yeah. you're still going to have to roll blunt yeah. to make it to like the gantry yeah. safely before everything falls. <sighs> Nailed it! 11. Oh, smashed it, mate. Yeah. Oh, I wish, I, I hoped you'd be left hanging by yeah. one hand. Yeah. But no, you, you make it. could have come to get you. You make it to the gantry, you, and with that you can take over and narrate like, what kind of advantages you create from that. I guess now I like the idea that me and then on the other side, was it Dr. Cole? Oh, no, I don't know. Whoever, I don't know who it is. Yeah, so. yeah, a bit of, uh, oh, yes. Ellie's, you do. Ellie's, Ellie's Ellie's Dr. Caulfield. Caulfield. Yeah, it's Caulfield. It's going to Dr. Caulfield, and she just put her finger on her and went, Dr. Caulfield, you say? <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm going to be stood on the gantry one side of the pit of fire, and she is going to be over on the other pit of fire, and it's all dark and flaming and all the lights out, and you just see half her face in shadow and half her face lit with red who are just like <laughs> glaring at me and just as she raises her gun to start firing at me I'm just going to slip out the door yeah yeah. so she doesn't manage to get a shot off on you uh, you just hear as you're as you're slipping out onto like a fire escape at the kind of roof level mm-hmm. you just hear her voice uh, after you I hope you're happy you just killed 23 agents they were already turned <laughs> it's not my fault <laughs> that wasn't the mission to be fair <laughs> Uh, Vicky, how are you going to get out of the Inferno? So I'm up on the God Tower, but I'm also aware of the fact that the antidote is being developed in the lab because I've heard it, heard the conversation on the old comms in the ear. So I'm probably letting them know that the wet, like everyone else knows that the warehouse is on fire. I'm kind of hoping that some kind of sprinkler system is going to kick in because that seems like a safety feature that ought to exist. But I don't think I can control it because the controls are locked down. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably the case. There is one. Um, uh, yeah, it's automatic. So it starts. Yeah. It starts going. It is trying to tamp yeah, down the fire. Yeah, but there's obviously a lot. But Tank Top did a thorough job. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Tank Top. And there's, right. lots of, there's lots of chemicals in those uh, containers. I mean, what's the guard this... situation outside like? <laughs> are, they, are, they, are they sticking to their posts? I presume not. I presume they're mostly in a pile inside. Yeah, yeah there aren't very... There, there's, only, there's only like two or three left outside. Yeah. Most of them, like when stuff... When shots started being fired and and, thing, and like people were calling for backup, most of them ran inside to help and were taken out. Okay. So there is a small presence. So the, the, the main door into the warehouse, uh, like there's just a load of guards there or like two or three guards at that entrance just kind of like covering their uh, trying to cover their faces with their tactical gear and like against the heat that's now coming out of this door and like trying to edge towards going those smaller in. doors like rather than like big warehouse doors there are emergency exits like the one that tank top is coming out of uh, higher up that yeah. you can like run up some stairs to get in that it way is. but only high up uh, yeah. yeah so there's the main door or there's higher up doors okay yeah, I'm going to leg it up one of those stairs. Okay. Okay. Uh, roll subtle to see if the guards notice you. Uh, yeah, I was going to do it. That's a nine. Okay. They they do notice you, but you still manage to get inside before I they can pursue. Yeah. 
Right. So they're aware that you've snuck in. Okay. What, what is the, what's the lay of the land <laughs> in, in here? Everything's on fire. Everything is on fire. <laughs> there's a lot of fire. There's, there's fire, but it is gradually being tamped down by the sprinklers. Uh, all of the uh, stacks of shipping containers are toppled and like resting against each other and against one of the walls. The uh, roof is completely open now. There's more heat and smoke than fire right. at this point. Right. Uh, low visibility. <clears throat> you do have an idea from Ellie's intel of where this lab area in the warehouse is located. Yeah. You like to try my best to head to that sort of area through smoke and what have you. Yeah. <laughs> right. And I'm if like... I know that he's doing that, then I think I'm going to aim for apprehending <clears throat> Coalfield. Oh, right. Okay, nice. Can I see the main warehouse floor, like underneath the control room? Uh, yeah, uh, is there a, is is there a body there? Uh, there are there are a few. <laughs> is there, there, a there are a few a few others a that went over the gantry. But yeah, you can see like uh, you can see one that is in like better gear yeah. than everybody else. Okay, <laughs> just thought, just check she's there. Yeah, <laughs> <It's> definitely. Like, <laughs> always dead. confirm. Definitely. Dead. Always yeah. confirm. Yeah. yeah, it was a smart move. Yeah, I'm gonna make my way labwards then. Why don't you roll smart because you're having to like make your way yeah. there based on intel. Let's see. Uh, that's loads. Fourteen. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you make it to the lab, uh, and uh, it is mostly still intact. The fire hasn't destroyed anything. Okay. It's this it's... kind of. It's just like a, a little kind of partitioned off area in one corner of the warehouse. Is but it like hermetically sealed or something? Oh, yeah. For... Um, cleanliness reasons mm -hmm. yeah but there's no one there there's no one like no nope. starting running procedures shit like that no nope. nope. killed them all <laughs> kill I've killed them all, man. No, no, he killed them all. I mean, I killed them all. He killed most of them. We killed them all. We killed them. Everyone's dead, Dave. <laughs> it's a joint, so joint effort. Yeah. Don't have anything with me to destroy this lab. Uh, so one thing that you know about the lab is that this is where the antidote is. Uh, I guess we do still have antidote. one. <laughs> one living turned agent. Yeah. And who else? Um, how we, many in the we field? We don't know how many. Yeah. yeah. Yes, that's true. Yeah, okay. these are just the ones that are in process. These twenty-three uh, in the. I get rummaging. Yeah. Uh, okay. Roll smart. Because you don't necessarily know what this looks like. I definitely know what this looks like. <laughs> <laughs> it's thirteen. You one hundred percent know. Chris has been rolling like an absolute champ. What does it look like? Uh, We've it's established a, it's like a, it's a chemical and it's like there's an injector yeah. sort of procedure. I mean, I think it's mostly kept in like cold storage in like, you know, like in Jurassic Park where it takes yeah. a dinosaur DNA, yeah. but like in, a, in like, yeah, a canister with like yeah, lots a of blue tube vials. Inside in it. It. Yeah, so perfect. there's like a nice robust transport yeah. nice. thing that you're not going to yeah, be Yeah, not one of those stupid green bead things like in The Rock. Yeah. Oh my God, those are so ridiculous. Yeah, you're not going to be transporting started. like a cool bag yeah. full of glass. Like yeah. this thing is fairly robust. <laughs> yeah. Kind of a big, a big canister, basically. <laughs> uh, uh, Vicky, you you see uh, Caulfield. You see Strats disappear out of uh, yeah out of the fire exit, and you see her run across the gantries to a different fire exit on the other side of the building, again high up. So I grab uh, the gas mask that I knocked off Flycatcher nice. and pop that thing on, partly because all the smoke, but also <laughs> because I'm slightly hoping that she might think that I am her, um, and give pursuit basically around the gantry to the same fire exit to get out all right roll blunt presuming this is like unsubtle pursuit oh yeah like i'm it. just going for it you're just pegging it seven nine hmm you get what you want which i guess is that you you catch up to her yeah but she she's got you where you where she wants you right like she okay. she is she is uh at the the fire exit with the door open yeah and you catch up to her fine and do you do any, like, cool running across platforms and stuff? Yeah, why not? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you Front flips, back flips. Yeah. Going everything. across the fallen containers. Yeah. She oh, knows I'm cool. not a fly catcher. Yeah. yeah, swinging up gantries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, with one-handed, because yeah. you've got a shoulder. Of course, wound. yeah. Um, but you get there, you catch up to her, and she doesn't buy that you're fly catcher. No. And she, ha she, holds the, she turns around and holds the gun on you. And you can hear now uh, helicopter rotors yeah. outside uh, and the, the wind from the helicopter blows her hair away from her face. And you can see that she's got like, um, she's got like similar to like some of the comms things that you've seen in the service, mm -hmm. but it, you can see elements of it like that are dark underneath her skin. Ooh. She has like some sort of implanted communications Ew, uh, like device. Uh, and that's what that's what the hair was hiding. Uh, and she says, 
Hold it. Don't come any closer. You've been listening to Merely Role Players. You can look us up wherever you find podcasts, on Twitter at Merely Roleplay, and at facebook.com slash Merely Roleplayers. Reviews and kind words are all very much appreciated, and we hope you'll join us again for our next episode. Can you reload your arms like Henry Cavill in oh the Oh my god, Mission I Hospital wish that trailer. had been a thing I had picked. Um, <laughs> That's the best oh, bit in a man. trailer ever. I don't need to see the film. I don't need to see the film, I'm done. Henry Cavill's <laughs> four arms really... reloading themselves I is all I need in life. I would watch that on repeat for two hours Just that happily. little section, mm. just that three seconds yeah. over and over, yeah, for sure.